Ladies and gentlemen, I was delighted to be asked to launch the Campaign for Wool in America, and uh, I'm only so sorry that I cannot be with you in person, but at least I'm able to take part in this uh, disembodied and suitably low-carbon fashion. Now, there is no doubt that the United States of America is one of the most significant markets in the world for interior design. This was made very clear to me recently when I welcomed a number of representatives of the American interior sector to my home in England to talk about this campaign. The point was made that the United States is important not just because of the scale of your market, but because you set so many of the trends which are then followed across the globe. So if we are to make wool fashionable again, then we need to make it fashionable in America. I'm sure you will hear much uh, about the benefits of this wonderfully sustainable fibre throughout this launch. I uh, might even mention some of them myself in a minute. But I did just want to spend a moment, if I may, explaining to you why I have put so much of my time into this campaign. Now, you do not uh, have to look too far back in history to see that wool was once a mainstay of the global economy. However, in recent years, wool has been fighting to compete with man-made fibres. For example, um, all too often quality wool carpets have been pushed aside by polypropylene copies. This pushed down the prices paid for wool to such an extent that many farmers around the world were forced to throw their wool away uh, or were leaving sheep farming altogether, which in turn had a terrible effect on some of the most fragile rural communities. I am uh, leading this campaign to help these farmers and to do what I can to improve their livelihoods. At the same time, as is so often the case, helping traditional rural communities has the benefit of not only protecting sensitive environments, but also helping all of us live more sustainably. The primary aim of the campaign for wool is to increase the demand for wool by once again explaining its many benefits. Quite simply, uh, for too long, we have managed to forget just what a wonderful fibre it is. Because wool uh, grows naturally, it has a natural cell structure which allows it to adapt to its environment. Wool absorbs moisture and uh, releases it later, which helps regulate the humidity in a room. Wool is hypoallergenic, which means it helps to keep internal air clean by absorbing invisible but potentially irritating floating compounds. It limits dust by holding it in its top layers until it is removed by cleaning. Wool can also absorb noise and isolate impact sound, which is why so many public buildings choose wool. And uh, if you live in an apartment where insulating sound between floors is a priority, the logic of choosing wool is obvious. Whether it is uh, wool between walls or on floors or even in soft furnishings, it can make all the difference to the quality of life of your neighbours. Safety is um, another key consideration. Wool is naturally uh, more fire retardant than other fibres without the need for any additional chemical treatments. After all, who wants their carpets in fact injected full of complicated chemicals to keep them safe when the natural alternative is so dependable? It is, uh, I think, important to note that offices and hotels specify wool for its superior level of fire safety uh, in public buildings. Its naturally high level of water and nitrogen content make it difficult to ignite. It has low flame spread and, uh, unlike man-made fibres, pure wool does not emit noxious fumes. Firefighters, I have met, are united in their view that wool carpets and furnishings, and indeed clothing, are simply safer than their man-made counterparts. Now, through my campaign for wool, I have been fortunate enough to meet many of the world's top interior and fashion designers, all of whom confirm that, without doubt, wool is uh, one of the most luxurious and flexible fibres it is possible to have in the home. 
It leads the way for fashionable interiors and clothing. But perhaps the most significant quality of wool is its durability. It maintains its appearance better than any other fibre. Uh, wool carpets and rugs do not fade or flatten excessively. The natural crimp, which is created on the sheep's back, is strong enough to bounce back millions of times, and this means it can cope with the heavy wear and tear experienced uh, in a family home or the incredible punishment of an airport terminal. An investment in wool means that you will not have to replace your major purchases so often. Simply put, it looks good for longer. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there is, of course, much more I can say about the benefits of wool, such as the fact that it is biodegradable or that it leaves the lightest environmental footprint. But I can't go on uh, pulling the wool over your eyes. However, I, I do hope you will take the time to think again about wool and to hear at first hand from many of the leading American carpet retailers and interior designers who are supporting my campaign. Over the coming weeks and months, you will see the campaign's green sheep logo on more and more products as a simple and symbolic identifier of wool. And I can only hope that in whatever role you play, you will feel able to be a part of this worldwide wool renaissance.